Hello everyone, today I'm going to discuss with you how to set up a charging station in Adoposoft system. Things to prepare in making a charging station set up. First, you need a 12 volts power supply for your coin slot and relay. You may also use this kind of power adapter. Then, you need also DuPont and wires intended for 12 volt supply. Prepare also the coin slot connector. Ensure to match the 12 volts connection to the coin slot because it may damage the item. Connect a wire first to L, which means live and then means neutral. Now let's connect the wires for coin slot and buck converter. Our black wires will be intended for negative and the red wires are for positive terminals. I will merge the black wires for the coin slot and buck converter as well as the red wires also. Ensure that the wires should not easily be removed. Second step, prepare the 5V single channel relay. Ensure that you are choosing the right relay just like in this tutorial. Then connect 3 DuPont wires in the power interface. Black wires will be connected to ground and which will be inserted to pin 6 of the RPI board. The orange wire will be inserted to VCC as the positive supply and connected to pin 2 of the RPI board. Lastly, the green wire will be connected to IN which means our control relay and then inserted to the assigned GPIO pin 7 of the RPI board. Aside from RPI, you may use another power supply for the relay as long as it meets the required volts and amperage. Ensure that the screw will hold the wire tightly. Next step is to connect the buck converter in the relay. Only the red wire will be inserted in the normally open interface of the relay. This relay is suspended before pull-in and shorted to COM after pull-in. Now, connect the red wire from the positive output of the 12 volts power supply to the COM or common interface of the relay. COM usually located at the center of the load interface. That's it, the common interface already connected to 12 volts power supply. The next step is to connect the wire from the ground of the buck converter to the negative pole of the power supply. Now, let's connect the wires of the coin slot. Prepare two DuPont wires for the set pin of the coin slot. This wire will serve as the set pin relay in the payment portal. Let's connect the female adapter to pins of the coin slot. Ensure to match the pins based on the label on the side of it. Improper placement of the wire may damage the wire or item. The red wire must be inserted at the 12 volts pin of the coin slot. The white wire is matched at the coin and the black is at the ground. Now let's connect the two wires on the set pins. The first one which is the yellow and orange wire will serve as the ground and the second one which is the blue and red wire will serve as the set relay. In this step, we need to connect all the DuPont wires from the coin slot and relay to the RPI board. The orange wire which serves as the VCC of the relay will be placed on GPIO pin 2 of the RPI board. GPIO pin 2 will release 5 volt supply to the relay. Next is the green wire which is the end of the relay that will connect to pin 7 of the RPI board. 
This will give a signal to the relay during the charging period. The black wire will be ground of the relay and connect to the GPIO pin 6 of the RPI board. Just follow this diagram for the assigned pins. For this step, let's connect the coin relay wire and the two DuPont wires which are the set relay of the coin slot to the RPI board. The white wire is the coin relay which is connected to pin 3 in the RPI board. The red and blue wire which serves as the set relay will be connected to pin 5. And the yellow and orange wire will be connected to pin 9, which is assigned as the ground. Now, let's organize the wires first before we start to power it up. Let's use 5 volts and 3 amps charger to power up the RPI board. There are two types of power supply. The first one is the 12 volts power supply intended for the coin slot and buck converter and 5 volts for the RPI and relay. Step 9, insert a LAN cable to the one port of the RPI board. Ensure that there is an internet connection from the ISP or internet provider. Now, let's start to power up the power supply. As you can see, our coin slot is already working. Next is our RPI board and the relay. Let's plug in the charger. As you can see, the RPI and relay already lights up. If you notice that the RPI board has a yellow-green light that keeps blinking, it means that the board is already booted. While waiting, prepare your mobile phone or computer. We will use it to log in and install the charging station in the Adoposoft system. If the SSID of the RPI already appears, connect it and log into the machine admin. To log in, in the machine admin, you may type 10.0.0.1 slash admin. Then input the username and password. Then go to plugins and install the charging station. Before you install the plugin, ensure that you have an internet connection on your phone or laptop. Now choose the charging station button, then click or install the version 1.0.1. Much better if you are using now the latest version of the Adoposoft software. After installing, you need to reboot the machine to apply the changes. After the reboot, go back to the machine admin then plug in and click the charging station button, then set your charging station port. In the GPIO pin, based on our setup in RPI board, our IN or control in our relay is at pin 7, so we will change it here, the pin 12 into 7. You can create or edit the alias in here. We will change it into port 1. Next, you need to identify if your relay is at a low or high active type. If the current will go through the line when the control signal is below a certain voltage, it means the relay is active low. Anyways, you may search or ask the seller before you purchase. You can add ports if you build more than two set up by just clicking the add ports button. You can also create your own charging rates and add expiration time of the session by clicking the edit button on the right side. Ensure to click the save button after you've finished creating your own charging rates and expiration. If you would like to remove the expiration of your charging station session, you may input zero in the box. 
If you have knowledge in HTML coding, you may create your own captive portal design for your charging station. That's it, let's try to test now our charging station feature in the captive portal. To locate, just click the more button, then click the charging station. Then click at time if you want to insert a coin. Now you may start to insert a coin in the coin slot. After you are done inserting a coin, just click I'm done paying and you will directly landing to the charging station captive portal. The LED of the buck converter and yellow green light of the relay is now on and it means the charging station already works. Now let's pause the session. The LED lights of both the relay and buck converter are already off. Now let's resume the session again and see if the buck converter will work again. You need to select the charging port first. And that's it, the buck converter is now on. Our charging station is now working. Thank you and see you again in our next video.